Um, well, I think I became interested in history probably originally without differentiating it that clearly from a lot of other lines of study. I mean, you know, a range of things from, say, economics at one end to literature at the other that were all different ways of thinking about how humans deal with each other um, and the kinds of societies they make. And history, I think originally for me, appealed in part because it offered the chance to do bits and pieces of so many of those things, right? That you could, you know, read about the economics of the German steel industry and then also read Thomas Mann and there wasn't a sort of obvious methodological choice that you had to make up front the way you would have if you had committed yourself to, let's say, economics. Um, but I think more and more what I eventually realized is that there were also very specific historical questions about, among other things, what the right frame of analysis is. Um, what the right time span for thinking about a problem is. Um, you know, one of these sort of simple questions that I think is actually quite useful that I've come to often ask my undergraduates is, what happens to horse-drawn transportation when the railroad comes through? And of course, everybody's first answer is, well, it killed it, which if you take the 200 year span is correct. But in fact, what happens in the shorter term is the railroad leads to an enormous increase in the amount of freight and the amount of people moving back and forth. All of those people still have to get to and from the railhead. So if you had sold your father's horse-drawn carriage business the day the railroad came to town, congratulations, you missed out on the golden age, right? The next 50 years were actually really good. And the point of that is not to, you know, be cute and trick people and say, aha, no, that's the right answer. It's to say that the answer to the question depends on your time frame. And what the right time frame is depends on why you're asking the question. And I think what I've come to think of history as is a series of ways of framing all questions about change over time. Um, which can be as practical as, should I buy a house in this neighborhood? Should I go into this line of work? Or it can be as general as, you know, oh my God, are humans gonna dodge the climate change bullet? Or are we really gonna make a mess of things? Um, and so more and more I think of history, of course it's a body of knowledge, but more even than that as a set of tools and so I, I may have gone into it for the wrong reasons, but I'm actually kind of glad I, I did anyway. <laughs>